Undercover Carson, Secret Agent. Operation Death Ray, an assignment in Rio. Operation Death Ray had started off with South American melody and swaying hips. But it was anything but light entertainment now. It was in a dim cafe in the bohemian Leda area that I kept the appointment with Carl Schmidt, the former pilot. It seemed safe enough, but just to make sure, I had Angelo, Sir Giles Davenport's servant, stationed in the darkness outside. Schmidt knew the names of those six European scientists who had the various keys to the secret of the Death Ray. He was about to talk about to reveal those precious names when he slumped forward across the table. In his back was a poisoned dart, and a man didn't need to be an expert on deadly weapons to know that someone had used a native blowgun and that Schmidt's moments were numbered. The proprietor and others crowded around as I tried desperately to get Schmidt to speak. Seno, Seno! Schmidt, the name. Seno, what is happening? Stand aside. In Schmidt. his back, the dart! So, blowgun, poisoned, dying. Dying? Murdered. But give me a chance, man. Schmidt. Ma'am. Ma. Mama? Um, Mama Rosa. Mama Rosa? Yeah. That's one of the names? It... Uh. Say no. This man. Please, give me a chance, I say. Schmidt. Schmidt, old chap. Have I got that right? Mama Rosa. Schmidt. Schmidt. He does not answer, say no. No. It's all over. He is dead? So... No point in me waiting. Sorry to leave him on your hands, my friend, but I... One moment, Seno. No fuss, old chap. I didn't kill him. Perhaps not. But the authorities will be interested to ask you some questions. Authorities? Police. Well, that'll never do. I fear I must insist. Yeah, calls for Angelo. I do not follow, Seno. In a moment, you'll find out. I say, Angelo. You call for Angelo. So, guardian angel. Angelo. <laughs> he does not hasten this guardian angel. <laughs> no. Odd. Most. I fear you will be waiting, Seno. Already the word has gone out for the authorities to hasten here. Uh, it seems I must hasten also. You are taking that strange pipe from your mouth, Seno. Yes, I aim better with it in my hand. You twist the ball, Seno. Arms it, you know. Arms it? So, now, aim it. What is this you are doing, Seno? I doubt whether you'll be appreciating it, but I'm shooting out the lights, like so. Seno! Seno, stop! Sorry, old chap, here I can't. Adios! <laughs> Turkish pipe had failed me once before, but not this time. Howsoever, I was wondering why the faithful Angelo had failed me. Called out for him again once I reached the street. No sound or sign. With the crowd from the cafe hot on my heels, I thought it unwise to linger. Half an hour later, I was up in Sir Giles Davenport's apartment, trying to cool down. Uh, is that enough water, Carson? Uh, plenty, Sir Giles. Then uh, quaff it, as the saying is. I need little urging. All the best. Good luck, old fellow. So Angelo fiddled down uh, on the job. Yeah, it seems so. Yeah, you can depend upon it. There must have been some good reason. I'm hoping he hasn't run into any serious trouble himself. Carson, trouble and Angelo are soulmates. All the same. Where is he? I dare say we'll find out all about that in due course. Still, made it rather awkward for me. <laughs> well, I can't say I thought it highly amusing at the time. Yeah, I was just thinking about that pipe. Hmm? Oh, oh, this, the Turkish secret weapon. Uh, put it away, man. Great heavens, you've already got your arm in a mess because one of these fantastic pipes... <laughs> oh, not so bad. And in fact, in all the flurry, I clean forgot about it. Only flesh wound. Pity we can't say the same thing for this poor fellow Schmidt. Yes, tragic case. No chance at all once a poisoned dart like that strikes home. And he managed to get out only the one name? So, Mama Rosa. Mama Rosa. Mean anything to you, sir? Nothing, Carson. Whoever was waiting behind that latticework with the blowgun seemed determined no one should learn the names. Perhaps the murderer or his principals already know the names. You think so, Sir Giles? I, I can't help feeling it, Carson. All along we've had unwelcome attention, so much so that I believe we have the agents of more than one other power on the job. I feel that you are being watched, just to see how much you're able to discover. Hmm. Could be. And when you find out too much... Yes, yeah, see what you mean, sir. 
things will be even more uh, hectic. But have we made any progress? That's the point. Mama Rosa. Curious name. Indeed. Spanish? Portuguese? Italian? Or what? Could be anything. But remember, those six scientists were a mixed bunch. Well, sir, what happens now? I'll endeavor to follow up this name through some private channels. Otherwise, we've come to another dead end. Well, hardly, old chap. How so? Angelo. He should have something for us. Can't help being worried about him. Man, if I let myself become worried, every time Angelo slept off unexpectedly, I'd be a nervous wreck. Yeah. What about another snort, old chap? Oh, thank you, sir. No, oh, enough, sir. Huh? Oh, well, if you say so. No, I'll fix the water. Right. You know, Carson, you brighten up my life immensely. Mm. Thought perhaps I may have disrupted your quiet existence here. No, no. While I fully appreciate the deadly serious nature of your assignment, I feel rejuvenated now that I'm really bird watching again. Invisible birds, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never fear. We'll lure them out into the open in due course. Anyway, it stops a man from stagnating. Uh, go ahead. Drink it down. Right. Cheers, sir. Good luck. <sighs> Hello. Hmm. Expecting a call? I am indeed. Devonport? Excellency. Oh, as I thought, Angelo. Ah, si, si, Excellency. Uh, but Senor Castle. Here, safe and sound, Angelo. Ah. Not a wave of his chestnut hair out of place. Then I sigh with the relief. You caused him some concern. Oh, indeed, Excellency, I'm exceedingly aware of that. Tend to him, my most sincere apology. I shall, but what um, detained you? Perhaps it is better that I wait until I arrive. You see, I have the weapon. Weapon? Uh, you mean... See, the blowgun that was used against the flyer. I can promise you, Excellency, that both yourself and Senor Carson will find it most interesting. In 15 minutes, I will be with you. spent an impatient 15 minutes sipping our drinks and looking out on the lights of Rio. Was it into some dark backwater of this teeming city that the path of investigation would lead? Or was it out into the tangled wilderness of jungle and disease? Angelo arrived on time and proudly thrust the blowgun into my hands. Well, Carson, you're an expert on these things. Hmm... Yeah, nothing uncommon about this weapon. Not, eh? Uh, quite a number of tribes use them upcountry. Anyway, Angelo, how'd you come by it? Senor, first permit me to make my apologies for leaving you as I did to fend for yourself. Oh, it wasn't entirely on my own. Had pipe, you know. Ah, uh, but I caused myself much distress. <laughs> Forget about that. On with the story. Mm. Oh, very well, Senor. As you're aware, I'm waiting in the darkness outside the cafe. So? It is some time before the flyer arrives. He walks heavily. One perceives that he is a man who carries a great load of sadness. Yes, Angela. As I was saying to Sir Giles, he was a tragic case. Yes. He walks like a man who, who goes to his death. I have a feeling that some, some great peril awaits him. And then, Senor, I make an alarming discovery. And that? Already. Before me, another person has arrived. I see. He's but a small shadow curled up close behind the latticework that surrounds the side of the cafe. Do, Carson. He must have known about your rendezvous. Yeah, it seems so. I, I keep a close watch upon him. All of a sudden, from within the cafe, there come the sound of many voices. Yeah, that was when Schmidt collected the poison dart, no doubt. The shadow then rises and begins to make off. What am I to do? Pursue this strange one or, or remain to assist you, Senor Carson? To myself, I think that first I will inquire into the strange one and then return to you. <laughs> the former undertaking was more lengthy than I had expected. I uh, see. And you uh, met up with this, um, this uh, strange one? See, after several blocks, Excellency, I grapple with him. So he abandons the blowgun and he hastens to escape. What sort of fellow was he? Oh, peon, Senor. Did you get anything out of it? <laughs> Nothing but cries of terror. And the blowgun. Ah, uh, yes. The blowgun. <laughs> well, Angelo, as you sit over the phone, it's most interesting. More interesting than you have yet perceived. Huh? How, sir? Uh, permit me to grasp it again for a moment, Senor Carson. Oh, certainly. Here, go ahead. 
First, Senor, I would ask you to recollect a certain feminine acquaintance of yours in this city. <laughs> that could be one of many, Angelo. <laughs> Carson's quite a lady killer. Uh, the one who is of great fairness and great coldness. Great fairness and great coldness? That could be only one person. Helena Jensen. See, si. the one who conducts the shop for the selling of ancient wares. Oh, that's right. Well, how does she come into it? Senor Carson, being removed as I am only two generations from ancestors who were total savages, I have no great understanding of written words and their meanings. Oh, least of all when they're written in a foreign tongue. Oh, come, come, old chap. We all know that those jolly ancestors of yours like nothing better than a human rib bone. But uh, what's all this leading up to? Peer closely to where my finger now extends stains upon the side of this below gun. Huh? Oh, yes, it's a faint scribbling. Ah, scribbling, perhaps, but it has a meaning. Mm. Great looks of it. Aha, Senor Carson, at last, Parsi. What the deuce is it, Carson? My eyes don't seem to be able to make out anything. Sir Giles, the scroll says, Jensen, Rua de Ubidor. Jensen? Her name on this blow gun? I thought you would find it interesting, Excellency. But, but this is the murder weapon. So, and with Helena Jensen's name and address on it. Seems Fakerelli has been right all along in suspecting her. So there it was. We were still in the dark about the names of the scientists but it seemed we had another vital name. The name of a person who wasn't afraid to murder in order to snatch the deadly prize of Operation Death Ray. Mm -hmm.